right, gonna do a mail call video and a giveaway win. Got something from, I believe it's Dirt Dirty with George. Got a package from Bezo816. Package from Melissa O. And a package from Barbara Rays. I've got my little helper here, he's gonna help me. This is Grant. Say hi, Grant. Hi. Hi. I'll have you hold these packages. Grant, and then open this one up real quick. I believe this is a giveaway I won on Dirt 30 with George. So, let's see if this is it. If you guys haven't subscribed to Dirt 30 with George or check this channel out, definitely do that. Uh, it's got some great stuff, great content. It is. So, this is really cool. Got a slabbed 1964 Jim Proof D Cameo Jefferson Nickel. Really cool. Not sure about that graded company, but really cool. We'll move on here. Got a Proof 1982. Boy, that is beautiful, too. Really nice. What do you think, Grant? Mm, that's cool. Yeah. Very it, cool. That is nice. We'll definitely put that in a flip and put that up. Won a Buffalo Nickel, 1927. So look at that. That is neat. Mm -hmm. Let's see that. That's sick. All right. Got a 1996 Denver Kennedy Half Dollar and then the P. So got the P and D. So awesome. Really cool stuff here. Then I got the uh, Dirt 30 Dirt Nerd sticker from George. So if you guys haven't subscribed to him again, Dirt 30 with George. Um, he calls us all Dirt Nerds that watch his video. I'm definitely a Dirt Nerd. I like his stuff. And he sent us a one ounce, three nines fine copper bar. This is really cool because I don't have any copper bars. I do got some copper rounds, but that's really neat. And Golden State Mint. I'm a big fan of Golden State Mint as well, so. And I do not have this round either. So it is kind of the Walking Liberty design. Golden State Mint. One ounce of copper. It's really cool. And George, I really appreciate that. He's got... What do we got here? Got a wooden nickel. World famous yield curiosity shop. Waterfront. Pretty cool. That's cool. That's cool. I think these are some tax tokens. Yeah, tax token. State of Washington. That's really cool. Let's see. Got some more tax tokens here. Washington State. Yeah, these are really neat memorabilia. George, I really appreciate this. So another one says Emergency Relief Fund. Utah sales token. Tax token. So that's the Utah one. Here's another one. It is State of Washington. Yeah. And then this orange plastic one. State of Utah. Really cool. Really cool. Alright, and then I got the Scarface Pacino note. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. $1 million bill. Little friend, the world is yours. Legend series. I That's really cool. like it. Is cool, ain't it? Yeah, look at that. That's really cool. Your um, George is awesome. Yeah, George is good. He's an awesome dude. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll put this stuff to the side and we'll get to Bezo 816s real quick. All right, so this is from Bezo. 
816. Let's see what he sent. All right. Holy smokes, he sent a really long letter. So let's check it out. It says, Coinman5000, I saw your video on the Mercury Dimes and, and I was reminded of the fake coin that I bought years ago. I was big into Mercury Dimes since they were in my budget range. So I found a key date, 1921D on Amazon, and the coin was priced right for the condition. I bought it. During the weeks that followed, waiting on the coin to arrive, I started watching videos on coin collecting, do's and don'ts. One of the videos warned about buying anything from China, but I didn't think much about it. When I finally got the coin, I knew something wasn't right. It was so nice. I took it to my local coin shop while they were inspecting the coin. They kept going back and forth. Was it a fake or something, some sort of error coin? Eventually, they concluded that it was fake. But at least it was silver. They told me to turn the seller into the secret service. When I got home, I checked my order info. The person selling was a third party who was selling from China. Oh well, lesson learned. Please warn people who are new to collecting about this and keep the coin as a filler for your book. Keep doing what you do. Bezo816. Is there another letter or is it just doubled? I just sent an extra piece of paper. Definitely, Bezo. Let's take a look at this. So, just like Bezo816 says, you definitely want to keep an eye out for fakes. Um, I do got a fake Morgan that I got from Backyard Scrapping. He let me know that it was a fake. Um, but yeah, I mean, they're out there for sure. Let's take a look at this. Holy smokes. That's cool. That's tiny though, isn't it? Yeah, it's a 1921. Boy, it is a beautiful one. Have to have, uh, have Silver Seeker, one of the guys, definitely go over this one with me too. I'm not that great at spotting fakes. So the mint mark there is on the reverse. Um... So yeah, really. Wow, Bizarre, I really appreciate that, definitely. I'm gonna have it looked at as well, just so I can get a little bit more information about it and uh, probably share this on a future video with fake coins. Um, Backyard Scrappin's got a video on fake coins also. It's really good if you guys haven't watched it. Definitely go subscribe to Backyard Scrappin and watch that video. It's really good. But awesome, I appreciate that, Bezo. Alright, next package we got here is from Melissa O. Um, Melissa's an awesome person. She's always commenting on my videos and I really appreciate it. I uh, appreciate her support. So let me pause this and we'll take a minute to open it. Alright, so I got Melissa's package open. Let's see what we got here. It is pretty heavy. She got a note. There's some kind of roll there. Good afternoon, Coin Man. Hope all is well with you and yours. Just a quick note to thank you for, for giving to your viewers and exploring in different areas and opinions because we all have our own opinions. Congratulations on 500 subscribers, you rock. You're going to be a hit. Here are some coins for you and your giveaways. The 1935 Buffalo Nickel RPM that will die is for you. Awesome. It says the... 2006 Die Clash is a conversational piece, fake, found while hunting $25 box. The rest you decide. I threw some double dies in the roll of wheats to make it interesting. Okay, keep up on the videos. You're going to be at 10000 in no time. Melissa O. Awesome, Melissa. I really appreciate that. Let's see what she sent, guys. Right, so let's see what Melissa sent. So this is the conversational piece. Holy smokes. Oh. It's like a stamp through. Definitely going to open that up and take a look at that. Did you say that was a... Maybe I can see what you said about that again. Okay, so you said that was a fake. Boy, that's really cool looking. Definitely a conversation piece. Definitely gonna look at that underneath the scope just to double check it. Die Clash Reverse Buffalo Nickel. 
There's another one I'm gonna have to pull aside and take a look at, Michelle. Or Melissa, I'm sorry. I'm all excited, I'm slurring my words. Try not to make this video super long, but these are awesome. 68, D, Lincoln, Penny, U, boy, that is beautiful. Double die obverse. All right, Melissa. Um, I'm going to check all these out a little bit better. I don't want to make the video like an hour long, but those are awesome pieces. Look at these. 1906 Indian Head Penny. So she gave us some good stuff to throw in the giveaway for sure. That is awesome. 70. Charles D. Penny. Floating Memorial. No FG. Yeah, these are all coins I'm going to have to look at afterwards here. Dean Double Die Verse. Camera's not going to show. Definitely, definitely gonna look at these, Melissa. These are awesome. And God date Mac. These are awesome. Super awesome. Really appreciate that. Yeah, I'm gonna go through these and uh, look at them a little bit better underneath the microscope. Like I said, just so I don't make this video half an hour long. Give me a second here. All right, so let's see what's in this roll here. Said so she added a bunch of stuff to the giveaway. So I believe this. Take a look at a couple of these. Oh yeah, bunch of wheat pennies. Awesome. Wheat pennies are definitely my favorites. 1950, 48, 48S, 35, that 30. There's some good dates in here. Wow, Melissa. Yeah, this is awesome. Um, I'm gonna go through these off the uh, off video and check all these out. And I'm definitely going to look at those underneath the scope. And then I'm going to go through this stuff. And we'll definitely have some of this in the giveaway video. So that's really cool. I appreciate that big time, Melissa. Um, this is awesome. Super awesome. It's so much that I should have just made a video on this alone. So um, give me a second. We got another package here from Barbara Ray's. We're going to open that up and let you know what that is. All right, this package is from Barbara Ray's. I just had my son open it up for me. It says, Dear Coinman 5000, sending you a few IHP wheats, a war nickel, colorized state quarters, a silver certificate. Wow, and some foreign coins. Check out the German coins. There is a silver Philippine coin. Keep anything you want. Regards, Barbara Ray's. Wow, that is awesome. Um, let me go ahead and open this up real quick and we'll let you know what's inside. Right. So let's see what we got here from Barbara Ray's. Oh my goodness. Between you and Melissa, I should have just made videos on yours alone. So I am going to kind of go through this fast. Uh, no disrespect to Barbara, um, but I'm going to look at all this very well afterwards. Wow. Got an Australian shilling, copper nickel, a Belgian nickel. These are really cool. You want to take a look at those, bub? Mm -hmm. Belgian copper nickel. Mm -hmm. Brazil. That is awesome. This is from the Philippines. Silver, 2.0 grams, minted in USA. So this one's actually a silver one. That is really cool. You can take a look at those, bud, if you want. Thank you. Pakistan, 1977 telephone token. 
it's really cool how they made the edges of that. Yeah, it's got a telephone on the back. That's pretty cool. Got a Mexican peso, 1972. Yeah, so I'm gonna go through these and we'll add some of these to the giveaway video. There's a German coin. It's got the swastika right there, 1946, I believe. That is awesome, Barbara. I'll probably keep this one, it's really cool. German. Oh, there's another one. The swastika. 1940. German. That is really cool. Really cool. Um, yeah, I definitely appreciate this package. This is amazing. Melissa, I appreciate yours too. Bezo, the uh, fake Mercury Dime. It's awesome. You guys, the coin community is great, guys. Um, this is really cool. Japanese. Kenyan, Kenya, Nickel Brass, first president of Kenya. That's awesome. Well, that's a really pretty seal there, too. Coins from Costa Rica. Grab that bubble. Hold on. Yeah, those are cool. And this is a little bitty one that fell out. 40 Russia Soviet Union Kopec I guess is what that's there's the old Soviet Union logo there that is really neat Spain 1966 wow these are cool these are cool this is some Peru I'm not going to open all of these um yeah, I am. Just going to be a long video, guys. Apologize. I don't apologize. This is awesome. So this is from Peru, it said. I got that. Look at that. 1976. Awesome. Thanks, buddy. Here. I'm sorry. Here's an East African, Africa, one cent coin, 1942. That's really cool. Hole inside of it. Hmm. Really neat. Yeah, look at that. That is cool. Hmm. Right. Look at that one. This is Hungary. Wow, Barbara, I so should have just done a video alone on yours and Melissa's for sure. This is really cool. I have to go through you and Melissa's off camera and just really go through this stuff. This is awesome. Alright, let's see what she's got here. That's from a piece of silver the other night doing a silver pour. If you're looking at my hand by chance. A piece of silver splashed on me. Holy cow. What do we got here? Mm. So, this is Indian Head Pennies. That is 1889 and 1907. So 19th century and 20th century. Certificate of Authenticity. That is really cool. Really cool. She sent a bicentennial quarter. I'll definitely check that out under the scope. C 
see if there's anything going on. Oh, it's a painted quarter. That's what it is. That is really cool. I don't have any any painted coins at all. I really appreciate that, Barbara. Yeah, I man, I don't want to be greedy, but I don't know what I'm going to... There's so much cool stuff here, I don't want to really give anything away. <laughs> but I will. I definitely will. So we got a Depression Era Currency 1935 Silver Certificate. Look at that. That is awesome. See the silver certificate? Mm -hmm. It's 1935. Wow. Yeah, I'm a big collector of bills, guys, so I apologize. This one will not make it to the giveaway. Um, this is definitely a keeper. So that'll definitely get put up. Man, that is awesome. I, I can't thank all of you guys enough. Um... Like I said, in the description down below, I've got my mailing address. If you guys want to send anything to add to the, the giveaway, um, definitely do that. If you just want to send me a card, um, you know, or a sticker, or, or what have you, man, I, I appreciate it. Let's see what this is. There's some state quarters. Delaware, Connecticut, and New Jersey, 99. So I'll look at those under the scope and see if there's anything crazy going on with those. Sure. It's a certificate of authenticity. This coin's produced in limited quantities. Okay. And here is some painted quarters. Yeah. Check those out. We'll take a look at those. I should probably have gloves on, I know, but. New Jersey. Yeah, that is really cool. Crossroads of the Revolution. This is Georgia. That is really cool. These are all cool, these painted quarters. Connecticut. So I'll definitely have some of these in the giveaway. Um, I'll probably keep a couple for myself just because I don't have any, but... Uh, yeah, I think we're going to have a good giveaway Friday, guys, between Barbara and Melissa. With all of this. Delaware. Pennsylvania. Man, those are both pretty. Look at that. There's a... Uh, yeah. This is the Pennsylvania and Georgia quarters. So awesome, awesome. We got a 43P war nickel. I'm sure you guys have seen war nickels, but we're gonna open it anyway. So war nickels are 35% silver. Um, the Monticello building, the mint mark will be above the building. So all nickels dated 1942 through 45. That have a mint mark above the Monticello building are war nickels and they're 35% silver. So, Barbara, really appreciate that. That is awesome. Silver is always good. What year? It's 43. Huh? Yeah, 43 Philadelphia. So, she sent a pack of wheat pennies 40, 41, 42, 43 steel penny in there, a 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, and 49. The whole 40s, so that is awesome. We'll definitely give that in a giveaway. Here's 10 more. So another set, 40, 41, 3, 49. So the whole 40 sets. Um, we got 10 more, 44, 50, 1, 2, 3, 56. So here's another 10 pack of wheat pennies. This is awesome. I'm gonna check those out too, Barbara. Yeah, here's another complete set of 40s so our Philadelphia's anyway um, yeah this was I assume Philadelphia's so yeah these are awesome these will be great in the giveaway Barbara I really appreciate it well everybody um, that's everything obviously I've got a lot more stuff to go through um, Melissa's wheat penny roll I've definitely got to go through it I'm gonna look at a couple of her error coins that she sent those are super awesome um, I might set those to the side and might make a video later with those as well. 
Um, I'm actually going to go through Barbara's pennies too and just see if there's anything spectacular in here. Any errors or anything. This was an amazing giveaway. Um, or mail call, I should say. Um, awesome mail call, guys. Really appreciate it. Dirt 30 with George. I appreciate the giveaway that I won from you. The gifts in there. Um, if you guys haven't subscribed to Dirt 30 with George, definitely do that. Bezo, the fake Mercury Silver Dime. That is awesome. I love fake coins. Um, as long as I'm not buying them for full price. Uh, but I like looking at fake coins. It's always a lesson to learn. be learned there. Um, Melissa O and Barbara Ray's. I, I can't thank you guys enough. Um, you definitely outdone yourselves. All right, everybody. Well, please like, share, subscribe. I'll have some links in the description down below. Let me know what you think about these uh, these awesome subscribers, um, friends, basically. Um, all you in the coin community are definitely friends. So uh, appreciate it. Please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot. Bye.